Well, you know, um, Alita's legacy started from a very humble beginning, to be honest. Um, we, when we started, we, we had, I think, only $200 or $250 in the account that we opened. And we came to Liberia um, and came to check out our first project. And when I invited the, the contractor to come and take a look at the place to tell us how much it was going to cost, uh, because we thought we were only going to be doing a renovation, um, we, we got a shock, <laughs> a shocker. Um, because when he came and, uh, and, and did the assessment um, and he told us, this is not a safe place for these kids. Um, this wall, you know, may just collapse any time and kill some of these kids in this classroom. So I asked, I was like, so what about, um, you know, building a whole new structure for, for them? And um, he said, well, um, give me a few days and I'll get back um, to you with um, the, the plan uh, um, um, and the drawings. I'm so grateful that, you know, the community that I live in, um, they are so generous and um, they came and just scooped this project up and, and um, donated and everything. I mean, I'm talking about individuals and corporate sponsors that, we, that we're working with who um, helped to make this possible. Um, a few corporations right in Destin, you know, um, Setco, um, Emerald Coast Title Services, um, Simple HR, um, Recon Velocity, uh, um, Newman Daily, all these people, you know, um, came up and, 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 and helped us. They, the Destin Rotary Club as well um, gave us a huge donation um, that, you know, helped us to to do what we're doing, Northwest Florida Beltown. Those guys, the owners just came and swooped in and just did so much in a short time. Um, and thanks to the Kruger Mainland Foundation who came and pushed us over the finish line um, to finish the school. Um, we're so appreciative to them um, for the generosity. It's going to be interesting um, to see these kids coming to, to the new building when school, school reopens. Um, now the, 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 the school um, basically is going to have um, the, the top section, which is the auditorium, um, that's going to be used for events and um, they're going to rent out the space so that um, they, 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 the funds from, from, from renting out the space um, you know, can be used to to sustain um, the project. These kids are going to be going to a school that, you know, some that they've never seen in, the, in, the, in their entire lives, um, where they're going to have an auditorium with, with, with AC, a computer lab, and, and all of this stuff in a public school um, is more or less unheard of here. They should, they're the queens. Yeah, that's true. They need to be held. I'm just doing what God has called me to do. I've just said yes. Um, we have another project in Kakata where, um, at, at an orphanage where uh, we're going to be replacing the roof, building a whole new um, sets of bathrooms um, for the kids, and a mess hall in the kitchen because before they just sat around the compound on rocks and, and stuff to eat, and they cooked outside. So when it rained, you know, um, they, they basically get, get rained on. When we came on this last trip in July, um, we brought 10 suitcases um, for the orphanage because there, um, we had things in there for the kids from their individual sponsors. Um, the orphanage has about 53 kids and all 53 kids have individual sponsors, some, some um, sponsors have up to five kids. Um, we came and brought clothing, um, shoes, and everything for these kids. We, we did um, also replace the mattresses. So all the kids have um, specially um, made mattresses um, with nylon on it, so those ones that wet the bed, you know, 
the, 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 the P1 penetrate. Another thing, you know, the, the kids who have sponsors in, in, at the orphanage, um, there are some sponsors who have actually committed to sponsoring these kids until they, they're, they're in college, and that is pretty huge. Um, early childhood development is, is, is it's very, very important. And getting these kids in school um, at an early age and building a solid foundation for them is, is the key to a better society. I believe that whole, wholeheartedly. Um, if we're only stopping in Liberia, um, I'm not sure. Um, but Liberia has, um, there's so much to be done here. Um, so we're just going, we're going to be here for a while. We have met with a few international um, organizations. We've had meetings and um, I'm hoping that with the partnership, with partnering with them, we will be able to, to cover more grounds and do a lot more for, for the kids here in Liberia. So Alita's legacy, um, we will be here for, for, for a while and we will be, we will be implementing and um, basically finishing what we started.